but it was Cameron McConville that stole the show in the final round. And it's uh, McConville. Oh, that, McConville. McConville's gone over. Yeah. One of the problems in to turn one down there is the road narrows up on the left-hand side. McConville's Whoa. been caught that. out. He'll talk us through the Shell Helix replay. Well, the, well, it looks like Larkham made contact with McConville after being squeezed by one of the Holden Young Lions cars. Rodney Whoa. Forbes was there as well. It looked to me like it was three or four cars into one don't go. Here's another angle on the Shell Helix replay. Whoa. Yeah, Forbes Whoa. down the inside, the EA Sports car there, and Larkham making contact with McConville. Hard to know who was who in the zoo there. Safety car is on the circuit. The SC signs being shown. Yellow flags will be waving. There's Cameron McConville. What an incredible recovery. You will take part in the afternoon races. Yeah, we'll race again uh, at Sandown. But unbelievable to think we could. The car was, I thought, a write-off when I looked at it when I got out of the car. But it was actually, it's the worst one of the year for sure. And, I mean, I just can't believe the luck we've had. Talk about the actual incident. Talk us through it. There was a, a concertina effect which kicked it off, and what happened from there? Yeah, well, we started a fair way back, so I went down the outside into turn one, which I had not a car in front of me. I had a clean bit of road, and just as I turned in, I'm right on the far outside, I felt a massive hit from behind, and Mark Larkin got pushed into our rear wheel and set the car off, and I thought I was actually up on two wheels. I thought, oh, I'm going to come down. The next thing, I'm sliding along on the roof, and uh, then it just went over. It was quite violent inside the car. I just sort of hung onto the wheel, and... Um, so when I landed I had an instant headache but I thought I'm awake and everything's okay.